Hello, I'm David Kerr and you're watching Shalom World News. Here are your latest headlines from around the globe. Persecuted Christians are the bleeding members of the body of Christ. That was the message of Pope Francis during his general audience on Wednesday. The Holy Father was reflecting upon the ninth beatitude as uttered by Jesus Christ during the Sermon on the Mount. Blessed are they who suffer persecution for justice sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. The Pope said that it's painful to remember that there are presently many Christians who suffer persecutions in various parts of the world. The Pope reassured the persecuted that their sufferings are always accompanied by the presence of Jesus. The Holy Father concluded his message by urging all Catholics not to become discouraged when they discover that a life consistent with the gospel of Jesus Christ attracts persecution by others. Staying in Rome and Pope Francis has established a foundation dedicated to the thought and teaching of Pope John Paul I. The pontificate of Pope John Paul lasted for only 33 days from the 26th of August to the 28th of September in the year 1978 with the aim of protecting and preserving the cultural and religious legacy of Pope John Paul. The new foundation will initiate conferences, meetings, seminars and study sessions. The foundation will also function as a point of reference for academics studying similar fields across the world. Its president will be the Vatican Secretary of State, Cardinal Pietro Paroline. The bishops of the Philippines will consecrate their country to the Immaculate Heart of Mary on May the 13th. That's the Feast of Our Lady of Fatima. In the capital city of Manila, the consecration will be led by Auxiliary Bishop Broderick Pabilio, who is currently the Apostolic Administrator of the city's Archdiocese. He's encouraging the faithful to undertake penances and offer rosaries in preparation for the consecration. The Archdiocese of Manila is also planning to release online resources next month to help both the clergy and lay faithful gain a deeper understanding of the meaning and implication of the marrying consecration. The Daughters of St Paul have launched a spiritual adoption programme aimed at pairing up COVID-19 patients and their caregivers with five other people who will pray for them. The Female Religious Order, who specialise in communications, will also virtually connect participants through a private Facebook group where spiritual adoptees and adopters can meet up in order to support and encourage each other. All those who sign up will also be given a spiritual adoption prayer card which will commit that person to praying every day for their adopted COVID patient or healthcare worker. The bishops of Mexico have launched a campaign to help feed those who are going hungry due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The Families Without Hunger initiative aims to assist those who are in need through the help of their local parish. With eradicating hunger its top priority, the initiative will also attempt to cover the basic needs of families who have lost their livelihoods due to the present pandemic. The whole thing's been run by Caritas Mexico, which is the charitable division of the country's Episcopal Conference. The Mexican bishops are also urging federal, state and municipal administrations to make the provision of healthcare and food a top government priority. Finally, amid the uncertainties of that COVID-19 pandemic, Catholic radio stations seem to be bringing a degree of light, warmth and hope to people across the continent of Africa. That's according to the pontifical charity Aid to the Church in Need, who have funded nearly 40 Catholic radio stations in over a dozen African countries during the past five years. Many Africans still don't have access to internet or television, hence radio seems to remain the best tool for the church to reach and support local populations. By way of an example, Aid to the Church in Need have been highlighting the work of Radio de Tunga in the Democratic Republic of Congo. In recent weeks, it has been broadcasting Holy Mass and other services, while churches across the Central African country remain closed due to COVID health concerns. The station was founded 10 years ago by the Diocese of Mabuji Maya. That was done with the help of money from the Pontifical Foundation, the US-based charity which financially supports the apostolic aspirations of the Pope. Well, that's all for now. Do join me next time for more headlines from around the globe. Until then, may God bless you. Shalom. Shalom.